All right, welcome back everybody. We are getting into the later day of uh, day four. I uh, just came back from a uh, ferry supply quest and I also raided up the, uh, the ranger station that's up on top of the hill on my way back. Uh, so I'm just coming in here to uh, drop off the quest Hello. and uh, see what she's How got for us. Yeah, multiple cocktails I don't deal with. I will uh, take those though and sell them back to her uh, later on once I've got the uh, <clears throat> got the rest of my stuff that I'm going to sell to her. Let me just go ahead and grab another job possibly from her. No, again, this stuff is uh, quite a ways away. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, wait for tomorrow uh, before we take another quest from her. We've already done two uh, from her today. So what are we going to do today? We're going to continue, continue working on our killing corridor. And before we get that completely finished, uh, we'll start up on our, uh, our, our main entryway um, into the base. Again, this is just a temporary uh, entryway. Uh, that kind of keeps us going uh, as, as these uh, initial days go on. Um, so I did look at, I, I did find a book uh, to build uh, AKs. I also got the recipe for bacon and eggs. Go ahead and read that. Um, got a learn elixir, which is great for XP. Uh, and we do have a, a challenge here. Uh, let's go ahead and read to see what one this is. Uh, kill some chicken with a nail gun. I'll accept it, but I'm never going to do that. It's just kind of one of those silly uh, quest that if I have nothing better to do then I I might do it but it's just really not worth it uh, so this is this is kind of turned into my uh, keep slash uh, sellables uh, um, case here so we've got some uh, some extra armor I did find some uh, better armor on my last trip out here uh, so we did now have a little four chest uh, we got a level three helmet which I think I found previously um, I generally only do two uh hard type uh, armors uh, but i really don't have anything else at this time um if i get some padded armor i'll go ahead and swap this out because i do like to keep my mobility uh higher than uh you know you know close to 90 percent 80 80 percent is still decent um but i prefer to be a lot better uh a lot better than that I, I tend to rely more on uh, my speed and agility uh, not that i'm putting points in agility but i like to be able to get away from a bad situation rather than trying to uh to armor up and uh, and uh, kind of stand toe to toe with the, with the bad guys here. So let's see how are we doing on our resources. Um, let's grab whatever cobblestone we have. We got a decent amount of cobblestone. That's nice. Um, I did get some uh, shotgun shells as part of a reward for one of my quests. So that's uh, that's good to have. We'll eventually we'll have shotguns. Um, and I'm doing pretty decent on my AK uh, 7.62 ammunition. So I think I'm fine there. I have, I've hardly fired any arrows at all, so I may just go ahead and, and dump that. Haven't really used the, the blunderbusses either. Uh, I may just go ahead and put those into storage until... Uh, in fact, let's, let's go ahead and do that. Let's. Um, there's no point in me carrying all this extra stuff here if I'm not going to be using them when I'm out running around. Um, I'll hold on to the bow and arrow for now, uh, but for the time being, um, I'm not going to do the blunderbuss or anything like that. Um, Okay, let's go ahead and uh, see what we got to do on our entryway. So I decided this was going to be my entryway here. So I need to build basically a stairwell to get up there. And we want to do that. That's uh, four spaces out from the tower. So let's go ahead and put one, two, three, four. So this is going to be kind of the start of my wall here. So let's go ahead and hop up here. I just wanted to kind of see what distance we're looking at. So that, I need to go maybe one more up. Yeah, one more up. So that's our level right there. Hopefully I won't hurt myself here. There we go. All right, so now we're just going to kind of build a stair. This is actually going to be part of my wall of the actual crafting building. Um, but for the time being, I'm going to be using it as a stairway to uh, get up to my, uh, to my fighting tower. It's dual purpose at this stage. And then I'll just continue on the uh, the building out this way. So this will be the the back wall, and then this will be the uh, the front wall starting right here. Come on, get in there. And that should give me enough space. Yeah, that's that's a decent size. I tend not to do really large bases. Um, I'll have maybe two workbenches, two chemistry stations, maybe three. 
uh, forges, a couple of cement mixers, and that's that's usually the the max that I'll I'll tend to deal with. I don't do massive bases, uh, and in all actuality, this this ground floor of both both of these buildings will be unused. Um, they're going to be just temporary for for a little bit of time until I get uh, until I get built built a little bit higher up. Uh, but beyond that, um, they will be empty. Now over here on this uh, in this uh, particular area, let's go ahead and make a hundred for now. Uh, this particular area again, this will be my temporary workshop until I get built up to a second level. Um, <clears throat> once I moved everything upstairs, this will be pretty much empty. Except I will be digging down here to get down to uh, to rock in order to uh, to mine stone uh, during the nighttime when uh, you know when I need things to do and the zombies are out wandering uh, during the evening. So I'm just going to kind of temporary frame this out just to give me an idea of how big I want this to be. It doesn't need to be huge. Uh, so let's see: one, two, three. One, two, three. Let's do. Yeah, let's do it like maybe this wide. I try to make it, you know, because our workbenches are two blocks wide and our chemistry stations are three blocks wide. So I try to keep that in mind when I'm building these things. So we do a workbench there, there. We'll do a second workbench, one, two, right there. Doorway, one, two, three, four, chemistry station. And then this will be our wall here. And then one, two, this will be four because one will be stuck in the corner there. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Come on, here. And we have a door. This is just, this will, this will be upstairs. It'll, there won't be a door down here. Um, and then we'll have, I guess probably we'll put all of our cement mixers and forges just along this wall here. Yeah, that'll work. Um, yeah, yeah, this will work. This will work just fine. So this is just how, this will be how I'll be getting up to my tower for the time being. Uh, let's go ahead and make a couple board, a couple doors. And let me go ahead. Actually, I'm going to uh, put this up one more layer just because I have a tendency of going too far when I'm uh, jumping up these stairs. I want to put an extra block here on the side to keep me from doing that. <laughs> there we go. I don't need that one there, but that one will that'll be fine. So let's go ahead and pick up these. I can. Come on, pick up. All right, we'll go ahead and let me get a little bit closer. There we go. All right, so let's get our doors laid down here. And again, we want an advanced rotation. Um, yeah, that'll work. Just like that. And another one. Come on. Just like that. There we go. So this is our bridge. Um, so while these are like this, and I'm working over here in my workshop, um, because the bottom area is going to be closed off, there's going to be no entryways to there. They are going to see this path coming up this uh, stairwell and across here as the the best path to get to me. So they will they will always be pathing um, up my killing corridor. Um, now I'll have this set up so that um, like again I'm going to be blocking off that downstairs area. I'll still have stairways down there, but I'll be using hatches. Um, I'll mount it on the wall to to serve as my uh, as my uh, as my way up. So this is a good uh, setup here. I think we're good to go there. We can go ahead and pick these up. Uh, and again, this is going to get blocked off. Um, I'm not going to do that just yet. Um, I could, I guess, I I actually could do yeah, because I've got this already set up the way I need way I need to. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and block this off. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, three hatches up here on this wall. I'll show you in just a, just a short time here. This won't take very long at all. Come on. Come on. Hit it. Hit it. There we go. So again, just two regular blocks here. 
Well, get in there. Uh, let me grab my cobblestone. And yeah, we'll go ahead and upgrade, upgrade all these up to cobblestone. Now, let me go ahead and get three hatches building here. And in the meantime, I'm going to knock out three rungs. Probably even four rungs, we'll see. Three rungs should be fine. Okay, and we'll go ahead and get these hatches up here and we're going to put these flat on the wall so we want to do uh, advanced rotation so against the wall with the hinge to the top just like that so one two three and that gives us our stairway to get up to this ladder up here so we can actually take out this ladder as well oh wrong one Dang, damn it yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna replace that because I'm horrible at this jumping and grabbing the ladder thingy. Let's go ahead and make one more ladder here. And we'll just kind of hop out of the way here so we can put it up. Just like so. So here we have our way in and out still. Uh, again, once I'm once I've got my my other area over there, this will all be. I'll, I'll I'll break down the I'll I'll pick up the uh, forge and take it with me. I'll empty out all this stuff and I'll just grab the you know the the cooking pots and the grill out of this and create a new one over there. And then at that stage, I can just go ahead and fill this all in with cobblestone and or all the way up to concrete. Uh, that way, there will be no reason for them to even try to beat on the bottom of this because there's really not going to be a way to get at me. So during horde night, what's going to happen is I will. I will go ahead and close up each one of these hatches and we'll just go ahead and slip up here just a little bit and close up this. So as it stands right now, there's no reason for them to try to knock through this wall to get to me because there's no way to get up to me, even if they break in there. Um, the only way that they're going to see as a legitimate path is to follow this, uh, this corridor right here. And again, during, during the horde night, these doors are going to be set like this, so they won't even think about uh, trying to path through my building there in order to get me. This is going to be the only legitimate way for them to uh, attack me. And so that's basically how the uh, the entire uh, setup is going to work. So let's go ahead and finish up our healing corridor down here. Just get it laid out. Um, we just have a couple more rows to do here. Um, I've been thinking about trying something slightly different. Um, just so I can see a little better. And this might be a good place to do it. So right, like, usually I'll just do a, a straight all the way out. And I may still do that. Hmm. Let's let's do that for the time being. We'll do that for the first horde. And then I want to try something because, you know, they're all going to be lining up here, hopping and, and pausing, hopping and pausing. It, it is a little difficult to see who is behind who. So if I've got... A cop or a, a demo coming up behind them I want to be able to see that so I was thinking for this the second to the last row rather than have it go straight out I'd have a couple of them going off to the side like this that way when they because th basically they will have this right here they're gonna they're gonna have to come up this way so if I didn't have these ones over here let me just go ahead and take these away for now that's good you know what? let's go ahead and do it this way let's let's experiment We'll, 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 we'll go ahead and try this. Um, I think it'll be a, a functional uh, system. So if I do it off to the sides like this, um, they can come at it from two different directions. There's still going to be a bit of a traffic jam to get up on this last step here. Um, so that should uh, still slow them down sufficiently. So like that. So they're going to basically have to be coming up here. They're going to hop up here. I can now see them better as who's coming towards me. They're going to have to come over here. They're going to be crowding up just to get to this one block. And then they're going to be jumping, pausing, jumping, pausing, jumping, pausing, and then fighting me from here. I think that I think that's going to work well. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and finish off this uh, front face here. We never really completed it. Um, what I'm going to do is, uh, because I don't want them stacking up um, and possibly getting above me, 
Uh, so what I'll do is I will put some uh, wedges um, at the very top here. So that is going to be these ones right. Where are you? you always seem to oh, these ones right here. Wood frame wedge. Okay. So those are going to be up here on top again. We're going to do vents rotation. So we want it so that it's up. Uh, oh. Come on. There we go, like that. Like so, like so, like so, so, and so. And then we'll continue. So we'll, we'll add an extra normal block up there and wedge tips. So if they're up here, if they're trying to get, try to stack up on me, this is going to kind of push them out and keep them from, from standing on top of each other's heads. Looks like I need to put in another half block into here. So let's go ahead and grab one of those. And then we'll just do copy rotation and that should fit in right in there. Just like that. Um, have I already got this all set? Yeah, let's go ahead and, um, I'm kind of taking a risk standing out here, uh, when night has already fallen, but uh, we should be okay. Let's go ahead and upgrade these just so you can see the, the shape of it better. Now these half blocks, we'll just continue that all the way down the front face. So this, this, this entire front face will be a uh, double layer of blocks. Um, it's not all that important at this stage, but once we start running into demos, uh, if we ever have anything then blow, blow up on us, having this extra layer is going to uh, protect us. Um, I normally do a slightly fancier one. Uh, it looks kind of cool, um, but it, it literally has the same level of functionality as this one. This is just a very basic, easy way to do this. Uh, let's go ahead and put a couple more of these uh, half blocks underneath here just to kind of fill that in for the time being. Uh, we don't need to take it all the way down yet. It's not really necessary. Let's go ahead and get these two blocks. Okay, just so you can see, and I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do on the inside here uh, because it's not quite complete uh, until we get some, uh, some little enhancements on the inside. Let's go ahead and jump down. We'll get back inside. Yep, let's get in here. Oh, come up up here. And get in here. Uh, let's go ahead and get another door being made here. Uh, okay, we'll do regular, just regular wooden door. That's all that's needed. Um, I'm going to do a couple of hatches, um, which I need to upgrade at least one of them to iron hatch. Do I have any more scrap? I may have already thrown all my uh, spare scrap into the uh, the forge. Uh, we got enough there, I think. We might be able to make at least one. Let me get this back up so I can hop out of here again. Uh, how are we doing for it? Let's go ahead and get something to eat while we're while we're down here. Uh, we are a tad peckish. So we did get so we ran into another wolf um, up when we were raiding the uh, uh, the ranger's tower. So we got some more meat. Um, I do have the recipe for the bacon and eggs, so let's go ahead and get some of that going. Uh, bacon, B-A-C, bacon and eggs, let's get you favorited. And we can make six. That is good. Let's go ahead and let's can take 142. There we go. And we'll get you all cooking. Um, we are also quite thirsty. Um, let's get you all sorted here. Yeah, we got plenty of water here. Um, yeah. Now we got plenty of murky water, so we can, uh, we can actually, let's, let's go ahead and get some, um, some glue going. Uh, we're going to be needing quite a bit of that in, uh, in the near future here. I also need to start uh, thinking about, uh, my wrench, um, because I need to start breaking stuff down so I can get mechanical parts. So... Wrench, what are we going to need? We're going to need... Ooh, we are going to need some mechanical parts, forged iron, and duct tape. Do I have any mechanical parts? I only have two. Okay, that's kind of the... Uh, the catch-22. I need a wrench to get mechanical parts, but... In order to make the wrench, I need mechanical parts. So we need to go out and do something to get some mechanical parts. We may go ahead and... Rather than do a regular quest, uh, we'll go down and hit... Um, hit this hardware store down here. Now there's a lot of good resources in there, a lot of tool parts, uh, a lot of cobblestone cement. Uh, it is be, it, it can be dangerous because in this back area you're going to have a lot of zombies. I would not do this unless I had a decent gun. 
Uh, I've done it a couple of times with just blunderbusses and regular stone tools, and I've been killed a couple of times doing it. So um, it is a little bit higher level than you know a uh, a blunderbuss uh, level weapon. Um, so uh, I, I will be going in there probably. That I'll do that tomorrow just to see if we can get some parts uh, to be able to uh, get some tools made because I do want to get this workbench uh, created. Um, actually, I believe I've got a skill point here. I got two skill points. All right, so uh, we've already done our salvage operation, so we can do our run. So now we can go ahead and uh, get our point in uh, for our tinker. So that's going to take level four. We'll go ahead and pop that in there. And now we can go ahead and make our workbench. All right, so now we can make a workbench. So we've got everything taken care of. We just need to get parts. Um, so the first thing we need to do in order to make a wrench um, is to get some mechanical parts. Uh, you know what? I need to get the uh, the torch out of here because I'm, I'm getting tired of this. I also grabbed a candle not too long ago. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop you down here as well. Um, let's put the torch down here. Uh, just so we have uh, a little bit of lighting. I'll, I'll, I'll eliminate all the lighting down here once we've uh, closed off this area. Um, so in order to make a wrench, what did we need? Let's get over here to our... So we need... We'll go ahead and favorite this. Duct tape mechanical parts. So we've already got glue going down here. Actually, we probably ran out of uh, fuel as we were making the glue. Yeah, we need three minutes worth. There we go. We'll get you turned back on. Uh, finished up that glue. Uh, so we're, we're, we're talking about wrench, so we need... We'll go ahead and we'll favor that. Uh, we're going to need a hammer. Uh, so we'll go ahead and favorite that. So that's going to take forged iron. So we've got a good amount of forged iron already. So we just made 72. Uh, how much do we have over here? Uh, okay, that's, so that's our entire stock. So... So for our for claw hammer, we're going to need 18. Let's go ahead and get this. For this, we're going to need 18. So that's what, 36. Uh, so we're halfway there for our workbench. We're going to need 25. So we're going to need to mine a little bit more of our scrap iron. Um, I'm not going to use that for this. Um, I'm going to use this scrap iron to go ahead and build these hatches. So let's go ahead and get that done. I'm going to put this candle down so we have a little bit more light. Um, we'll just put it on the back wall here. Um, one thing I wish they would fix with these candles <clears throat> is that they they mount to the lower part of a block. So they're, they're not in the center of a block. This is like the bottom part of this block. I wish they would center them because it's really awkward having these things like this. Like with these half... Uh, He's half a uh, ceiling, you know, I can't put it in this space up here because it's, it's taken up that space right there. So anyway, let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead. We got our two wooden hatches. Let's go ahead and get some, <clears throat> some iron hatches. Can we make two of those? Yes, we can. That might take up all of our scrap. Let's just make one for now. We just want to, the, the most important one is the, uh, the lower one. So let's get this down here. I always start with uh, wooden hatches. I know you can go ahead and put down the the iron hatches, uh, but I just have a heck of a time trying to figure out which side the hinge is, is on. So for me, it's easier to go ahead and do the wood ones first um, and, and then upgrade them up to the iron hatches. So that's how I'm going to lay this out here. Uh, on the right-hand side with the hinges facing towards uh, the front. Um, and I'll show you why. And I do go ahead and do two of these. Ah, oh, damn it. I just put that in the wrong place. All right, that's cheap to make. Go ahead and make another hatch here. Another wooden hatch. Craft you. So we'll do a copy rotation. We want it right about. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Hey, when the mouse just slips at the last minute. That's really frustrating. All right, let's try this again. One more time. Okay, copy rotation. Don't hit the button until you're sure. Okay. Okay, so this one doesn't want to link up here because I've got this half block up here. Um, that's not a problem. What I can do is I can put... Um, I can really put anything up here. It doesn't really matter. I'll just go ahead and put a, um, 
We'll just put a half block up here. Uh, let's uh, at least kind of get you looking somewhat decent here. What you could actually do is you can put a storage chest in there. I don't think I have any nails to do that. Let me just check real quick. Uh, let's see if I have any nails. No, I don't have any nails and I really don't want to waste um, any iron on this stage. Uh, so I'm just, I'll just put a block in here for the time being just to give something uh, for the hatch to attach to. This one down here is basically attaching to the floor. Um, this is kind of hit and miss depending on, <clears throat> on the layout. Um, I'll just put it like this. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and make another hatch. This is what my fourth one I've created. <laughs> All right, so let's get this. We'll do a copy rotation. And again, we'll pop you right there. There we go. So now that closes, that closes. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade this one all the way up to iron. And it's going to be upgrading it from that hatch that we made uh, in our inventory. And this can go a little bit further. We just need a little more scrap iron. Uh, so that, what this allows me to do is with both of these hatches closed, it kind of closes off this area. You don't really have to have this top one. I started putting this one in kind of as a preventative measure. So if we have cops that are spitting at me and I, I'm maybe out of stamina and I don't have any ammunition, I can turn here to the right really quick, click this to close and maybe block it. Now, otherwise you can just step off to the side, you know, to avoid that. Um, it's, you know, also there in case, you know, you accidentally uh, hit the button of a, a, a demo and they're going to blow up. Uh, you can step back, close this, and this should help protect you from any, you know, shrapnel coming through there. Uh, but this one, I, I keep closed most of the time. What this does is it gives you kind of a really good distance uh, to uh, melee with the uh, zombies. They're going to be able to tuck here into this V a little bit. And with this kind of stopping you from going any farther forward, this is really, you know, kind of the perfect distance uh, to be able to uh, to hit the, uh, hit the zombies uh, with a club. Uh, oh, by the way, I did uh, counter a level six wood club, which is awesome. I'll probably use this throughout the uh, to almost to the end of the game until I get a, uh, a steel club made. Uh, let's go ahead and get this door placed right here. And we want to rotate this like so. And now basically our tower is ready to go. We could actually have a horde night tonight. I'd want to upgrade the, you know, the path up here. Uh, because we don't want them inadvertently breaking these and not having a way to get up to me. And we always want to make sure they have a way to get to me. So these will be upgraded. I'm going to take out some of the, the, this, the frames underneath here, uh, for the time being, um, eventually this entire thing will be solid concrete and eventually, uh, solid steel. Uh, we're going to, we can take this all the way up to high level, uh, horde knights and this thing, you know, as long as you keep upgrading, it can keep up. Um, with that, uh, those levels of, uh, of hordes. Uh, so I think I'm going to go ahead and, uh, close this off here. I'm just going to, uh, you guys don't need to see me, um, do upgrading up to cobblestone. Um, do I have any cement yet? I have some cement. I don't have, uh, the wet cement mix. Um, I do have the ability to make a cement mixer. Um, but we're going to need to, uh, get our workbench, uh, made before we start doing that. Um, so right now what we really need to do is get some, uh, mechanical parts so we can kind of start that chain going, uh, where we can create our wrench so we can get more parts so we can create our workbench and so on and so forth. Um, so I like our, our, our next step is to basically raid that, uh, that hardware store right up here at the, uh, at the intersection, uh, a lot of good stuff in there. Um, and, uh, that should give us what we need in order to, you know, kind of complete things. I'm, I'm a little bit behind on schedule than I wanted to, um, to be able to get my bicycle made. Um, I should be able to put our next point, uh, into our, uh, bicycle, our grease monkey, uh, so we can make the, um, make the bicycle. Um, but again, we needed to make the workbench first. Uh, now we have that point in there. We can make that. That's just a matter of getting the parts, uh, for all of this stuff. Uh, we need to get a wrench and a hammer. We can make those now um, because we put points into those uh, particular skill trees. Um, and then, uh, you know, we'll use those up to make our workbench, but we can always make more later on. Uh, we'll make the workbench and then um, uh, we'll be able to get the parts in order to get our bike. I should, I should be able to have the bicycle by, uh, by Horde Day. 
Uh, maybe the day after, uh, we'll see. Um, but again, this will be a fully functional base uh, by the time the Horde Knight comes around. So it's about ready to break, uh, break daylight here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off here, and I'm going to head down to the hardware store, raid that, me pick up another quest from, uh, from Trader Jen, and um, we'll see you once I get back to the base to uh, start doing my, my upgrades again. I will see you shortly.